In this video, we will show you how to create load tests with Visual Studio. To create load tests within Visual Studio, you first need to install the Silk Performa Visual Studio extension. It lets you combine the strengths of both worlds. The rich development and debugging feature set of Visual Studio and the powerful load testing capabilities of Silk Performa. In this video, we're going to record a load test script directly from within Visual Studio. Then we'll modify the generated c -sharp script using Visual Studio's editor. Next, we're going to start a trial run from within Visual Studio and use the debugging tools. And finally, we will export the script to the Silk Performer Workbench for our actual load test runs. By default, the Silk Performa Visual Studio extension is not installed with Silk Performa. So let's first see how to install the extension. In your Silk Performa installation directory, which should resemble this path, open the folders templates and .NET and double-click the extension installer. Now we can start Visual Studio. We create a new project using the Silk Performa template. The model script dialog displays, which means that we can now record scripts directly from within Visual Studio. The extension supports web protocol recording and web browser-driven recording. Let's record the ball and demo website using Internet Explorer and the resolution of an iPhone X in landscape orientation. The recording process is just like you are used to as a Silk Performer user. So we perform a few user interactions and then stop the recording. Now the capture file page displays within Visual Studio. You can apply the various filters, recording rules and other settings, just as you are used to from the workbench. Now when we click Generate Script, the extension does not create a BDL script as you might expect, but a c -sharp script. So we do not have to leave Visual Studio for the whole script generation and modification process. We can now make use of the full functionality of the Visual Studio Editor, like collapsing, zooming, syntax highlighting, or using IntelliSense. But we can also use other Visual Studio features, like embedding web service calls. So let's extend our c -sharp script by adding a reference to a demo web service and use it in one of our transactions. These few lines of code will return a number of cities and display them in the Silk Performer output window. To learn more about the C-Sharp binding, refer to the Silk Performer help. This is a good opportunity to also use Visual Studio's debugging feature. So let's set a breakpoint and run a try script with debug. We can see that the web service delivers a number of cities. Let's further extend the script by writing the cities into the true log. And then start another trial run. And here we can see that the true log shows the returned cities in an XML table. Now that we're done with creating and debugging our load test script, we can export it to the workbench. So let's click Open Silk Performer. The exported BDL script is just a script stub that connects the BDL script to the c -sharp script. We can now continue to model our load test by adjusting the workload, assigning agents and so on. As you can see, we can now easily combine the best of two worlds. Visual Studio as a feature-rich script creation and debugging software and Silk Performer as a powerful load and performance testing tool.